Hallo, welkom hier so by Farmboek. Oké, okay, um, maak jou olie en jou diesel skoon. Uh, ek het nie geweet, ons standaard filters het nog soveel goeikies wat deurglip en al die dinge nie tot ek nou hier gestop het. <laughs> uh, ja, my, ek, nou verstaan ek hoe ek al so paar engines verloor het. Uh, Dean, hoe like it? Morning, how are you? Yeah, good, good. Um, so, sê gaf vir my, um, ultra, ultra fine depth filtration, wat maak yeah. jylle? Okay, so ultra fine depth filtration is a family business. We've been around for 25 years. Yep. And uh, our concept is to help clients uh, achieve the goals that they want to do. If they want to extend service intervals, um, if they just want to keep their diesel clean. Um, the South African market um, with the vehicles that we're using today and the tier threes, tier fours and tier fives that are coming in, our diesel is not of quality for these vehicles. And uh, the filtration on standard OEM equipment is, uh, is good and it does its job, but we insurance policy to make sure that we keep those vehicles running in spec and uh, save the client uh, injectors and pumps. That's what we're about. That thing for me, yeah, that's important. That's what I actually Now, okay, you have this so so, um, filtration stelsel bezigheid die op wat duidelijk my gauw wat gaan okay, so this, this is our demo unit so what we're just doing is we're imitating a vehicle um, this is your fuel tank the standard OEM filters yeah. and then the UDF filter so we'll put we'll contaminate the tank with a, um, a graphite molly which varies from 30 microns right down to half a micron and uh, then we'll filter it through the standard filter and then we'll filter it through the UDF filter and then we'll show you what happens when you get pulsating on the um, on the vehicle or you hit a dirt road or very bumpy yeah, what, road. Is, what is what's pulsating? For so so what when you accelerate and deaccelerate on the vehicle you stop and you start and then the fuel pump kicks in um, the pressure changes so you'll get a, a zero pressure and then the pressure will go up to one bar or two bar. This is amper soos as ek my huis as my, as my water leeg geloop het en al kom weer water en dan sal altyd eers so'n klompie brein goed wat daar die kraan uitkom. Dis recht so. So uh, the flow of the um, diesel in the vehicle um, makes a standard pleated filter release. So when we're talking about release, a pleated filter has got two chances of catching the dirt. Yeah. Um, so it will hold the dirt and as soon as there's a differential pressure or pulsating or, or bumping of the, of the filter, it will release all that dirt and then it will start to hold the dirt again. And uh, whereas the, the UDF, we use a filtration called depth filtration where there's lots of chances of uh, the filter holding the dirt because it's a wound filter. And it's the not a depth filter. filter. Wat basis daar is, wees een lijkkant. Like okay. so Ek kan sien wat die verskil is in om een gewone filter. Yeah. So gewoon, uh, Amal weer dan moet lijk een gewone filter. Ja, yeah, even nou sê. So, let's go in jou kutje. Sacrifice om maar. Ja, daar we go. So if you, if you look at this, it's a wound filter. So it's rolls, yeah. rolls of filters. Okay. Yep. So and, if, and it's that deep. So it's got that much more chance of catching the dirt than a standard pleater which has only got two chances of catching so the dirt. Gaan hy, gaan hy diesel pump for me, now it's a gat of pump for my good result. No, probeer, so we design the filter according to the vehicle specs, if it's a suction filtration or pressure filtration, we design the um, filter according to it, so you won't get starvation on the vehicle, because everyone's worried, hey, the vehicle's going to starve, or I'm going to stop on the side of the road, it doesn't happen like that, we spec it according to it, and uh, yes, if you pick up a bad batch of fuel, you'll feel that uh, the vehicle might go slightly down in power, but then you know just to change uh, the filter. This filter is designed to block, not to release the dirt. So I block okay. all I of block. the see the yeah. side plan. Okay. Yeah. So uh, let, let me show you. I mean, we filter the, so the UDF filter filters down to half a micron. Yep. Where your um, standard filters are anything from 10 microns down to four microns, but the injectors tolerances are two microns. So now you letting that four and six micron dirt particle through your injectors which is doing the damage and causing the overfueling. Why is my gauw die ding van die injector uit die my net nie getuig het? Dit is baie belangrik. Ek denk voordat ons by hierdie uh, um, bezigheid kom van die, okay. die goeders in ons. So verduidelik my net die, hoekom is dit so belangrik by jou injector? Okay, so this is, this is a standard injector and how injector works, it's like, it's almost like, almost like a parker pen. So your inside needle moves up and down. Okay, but this area over here between the needle and the wall is two microns. Yeah. Now you let in an eight micron or six micron dirt particle through this area and it comes here by the injector wall. So now it slows the speed of the injector down. By slowing the speed of the injector down, you're getting too much fuel coming yeah. into the engine. So now the engine is overfueling, so your piston burns on the way up and burns on the way down, so there's no cooling of the engine. So that heat goes out the exhaust yeah. through the turbo and you have turbo failure. 
Okay. Now, when that particle eventually gets to the what we call the nozzle of the injector, it hits it so hard through that it breaks open the holes on the injector. Yeah. And then instead of a round hole and atomization occurring, you get in a direct spray of fuel onto the pistons. And, and that's what burns, the, your pistons burns the crown of the pistons and everything. And, and when also when the fuel, when you're getting too much fuel into your engine, you get glazing of the cylinders. That fuel goes down into oil, causing sludging and breaking down of the oil. Yeah, so, okay, die werk for me. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's now all of this good out. Okay. So. We are seeing how they in. Okay. Let's have a look here. Sorry. No, no. Stop for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to just contaminate uh, the tank here yeah. with a, a molly and which varies from 30 microns right down to half a micron. You can see how fine it is. Okay, so we're going to blacken it up so you can see just the color. Yeah, I'll okay, let's see. Um, I'm sure. No, 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 no. Okay, so now it's a buck swat. Now it's buck swat. Okay, so now we're going to put it on. That's not a good one for the standard. I'll get this in as a cranky too. Okay, I'll iron it up so I got an audio. I'll get one of the filter. That's it. So now you'll see, I mean, this filter's got a purpose. It catches all the heavy particles and nuts and bolts, as we call it in the fuel terminology. So, and eventually it will start to clean it up. So let's give it a fair chance and uh, let the system run so you can see how it cleans it. So, yeah, but they were on a big, I can see now they were on a big lighter as what they now was. 100%. But I found it all good as what greater as a sphere micro. Correct. Okay, so, so you can see it's starting, it is cleaning it up. Yeah, okay. I mark on, I mark okay, on. So now I'm going to shut it off. I'm going to yes. open it onto the UDF filter, which yep. uh, a lot of guys call the terminology a polishing filter, which yeah. uh, we filter down to half a, half a micron, removing all the dirt particles that do the damage to the injectors and pumps. Dark okay. Okay, so um, now you can see it's cleaning up nicely. Take a look at now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you when you drive on a dirt road, or if there's pulsating in the system, stop starting, stalling the car, restarting the car. So this okay. is just how we're going to imitate it. You're going to see I'm going to hit the filter now. Nothing's happening. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open and open the system again, back to the standard yep. OEM filter. Okay, so there's there's yep. a dumping. So what I'm going to do is let's clean the system up with the UDF, polishing all the dirt and cleaning right, this filter. Right, so we've got it. You let me see how come I swart good in there and how hard the pedier. I need to make them now be schoon. Okay. So now it's it's cleaning up. I think it's clean enough for the... Yeah. Okay, so... I think so. Now let's do the same. Okay, let's... so two doors. Okay, so now we're going to hit the standard filter like yes. I did with that filter. Like you've seen, we're going to be swart. So what it does is the pleats on a standard filter can't hold all the dirt because there's only two chances of it catching the dirt. So to hold it, as soon as there's a differential pressure or if there's shaking or vibration of the filter, it will release all that dirt. So the UDF will fit after the OEM fitter, filter and we do this as an insurance policy to make sure that this dirt doesn't see your pumps and injectors. I but come here, I come here. It quite doesn't come here. You let me know, I want to do it yourself. So we are going to go to the side. Okay, there's it. And then here we go. That's it. And um, I'll come here from this side. Yeah, I'm going to make it a little bit. I'm going to make it a little bit more. Haha, make it a bubble. Let's open it a little bit more again. Right. But I'll let you see, it's very nice. Okay, so... Dit is nou op diesel, nee? En dan, ok, ek kan hem maar afsedak, ek was het gesien hier in de maak skoon. So, jy het gesê op olie, doen jy dit ook, kom ons van eerst na die diesel kant, so jy sal die systeem opsit, een filter op die voertuig, of op die trekker, of wat ever ook al. Die ene van my sê het ook vir my gesê, dat hulle van jy goed te gebruik, op hulle trekkers. So what we do is, you got to keep the fuel clean. So number one is fuel, then number two is lubrication, air and coolant, so it's called the flex system. Okay, so we, when we go to a site or we go to a mine or anything, we say to the customer, what do you want? What, do, what is your goal? Do you want to just maintain your service intervals? Do you want to extend service intervals? What is actually, what do you want? So uh, the biggest thing today is costs. People want to save costs. By saving costs, your, prof your business is more profitable. So what we do is we do engine oil bypass, where I take 3% of the engine oil through the filter and I put it back to the sump. So we remove all the dirt particles that break down oils. So we extend service intervals from 250 to 500 to 750, up to 1,700 hours. 
but please note you have to be doing oil analysis reports because where do you know when the oil is going to be breaking down? Yeah. So with the oil analysis reports, it will tell you oil fit for further use or you need to drain the oils. You also need to remember that the elements need to be serviced. So the elements won't last 1,700 hours. You do, your element changes will be at 500 hour intervals. And then you just top up with oil and then allow the system the to do it. If you say, as I my engine oil is schoon, mm -hmm. then I can make 1,700 hours of engine oil. Kan Correct. If you're using a, a good quality engine oil and you're doing proper um, flak program, you can extend the engine oil life to 1,700. We've done it, we've pushed, uh, pushed it to 2,200 hours and then we've settled on 1,700 hours because that's the safest place on, on certain customers. Please, it's not every, every customer that does it. We've got customers where they, every time they move the fuel, it gets filtered. Every time they move oils, it gets filtered. So that it's a very intense flak program that they, uh, they drive. So we've just won an award now with Anglo, where we took the hydraulic oils from 1,000 hours to 10,000 hours. Did you make a difference? Because hydraulic oil is not for us to do it. No. So the only reason the hydraulic oil will, will break down is if um, it overheats, and if it, the only thing that causes it to overheat is dirt. Then you'll get pipes that burst and, and the guys don't flush the systems correctly and then your oils break down. But other than that, it's a closed system, it's got proper breathers on the tank, that oil lasts correctly and you just remove all the wear particles continuously and allow the um, oil to do what it's designed to do. So if you have a look at the board here, you'll see that we do hydraulic fuel engine oil. Okay, this is for different machinery. So you won't get the stack of filters like this. It will be three big units, uh, yeah. or three small units, and, and so on. And we do we design it per vehicle. So every vehicle that's out there is different. We we make the brackets. We do the piping, the testing per vehicle. So if it's a Cat Trip Seven or a Komatsu 730, we design the system for the need of the customer. Okay. Then we got bulk filters. So all the farmers have got bulk filters on their farms. So some, fo some farmers say to me, we've got extensive water, then I design an element that can take the water out. We can either drop the water out the bottom and you drain it, or we can create, well, we build an element that blocks it, so it holds the water. So then the farmer knows, okay, the delta pressure is high, I'm not getting the flow out of the bulk filter, change the element. But my question is, how do I filter these good things out? As I put it in my tracker and put it in. Het ik nodig om daar nog een filter in die tracker in te zetten, als het van die manier waar die sediment loskomt? Absoluut, because what happens is that tractor is plowing or driving down a dirt road and you fill the tank in the morning and in the afternoon there's no fuel in that tank. So what happens with uh, fuel full, um, t petrol tanks or diesel tanks on the tractors, every time you go over a bump the fuel will move to the front of the tank or to the bank back of the tank. So it's sucking dust in blowing clean air out, sucking dust in, blowing clean air out. So your standard OEM filters now can't handle the amount of dirt that's getting sucked into the fuel. So that's why you put the filter on last in line for the, your insurance policy to make sure that those pumps and injectors are looked after. And I mean, the, the cost of these things are ridiculous. So um, another thing is, um, okay, so if I've got cleaner fuel in the system, Will there be a um, saving in terms of kilometer per liter or whatever? 100%. So if you're cleaning fuel into the injector pump and injectors, you're allowing that injector to work at the speed that it was designed to do. You must remember these engines are all designed in Europe and all over the world where they're in a test room. So the ideal conditions is 100% clean air, 100% clean fuel. And they're not in Europe, so they're so many. They're not Africa. We're Africa. <laughs> we, we know how it works in this country and we know also the guys take a drum and they, they fill it into the tank yeah. so you're getting that contamination but yes you will get or anything from a 3 to a 10 percent fuel savings depending on how dirty the injectors are and how quickly we can clean them up before the wear occurs so and then in terms of the lifetime of the of the injectors um, how long will I actually um, extend that by or is it almost indefinitely it's almost indefinite, but, the, but we've seen it across the board where we've fitted tractors from brand new and earth moving machinery from brand new. Earth moving machinery over 20,000 hours on the same injectors and pumps. 
tractors, 20,000, 15,000 hours. I mean, it's unheard of. We've got some Toyotas running in Botswana with over 2 million kilometers on it with the same injectors and pumps, and they're, they're still 100%. So nothing can wear. So if you're keeping the dirt out, nothing can do damage to the pumps and injectors. Your lubricity and your fuel's correct. The fuels are clean. It will last forever. Awesome. Okay, so now I just want to know, and I know it's going to be very different tractors, but plus minus, if I just put a standard system, cleaning my diesel, cleaning my engine oil um, on a, let's start with that, cleaning the diesel, how much is that more or less on a standard okay, system? Okay, so for, we're running a show special on the moment with our new little product. So we, in, uh, for complete kit, a bolt-on kit for your vehicles, a thousand seven hundred rand and to service it is 520 rand. And then you go to the tractors where we got the, the bigger systems on, and they, they start from 3,000 3, rand, 3,500 rand, and we can go up to big earth moving um, trip 7s, 730s, where it's 20,000 rand. And then your elements vary from 480 rand to 1,000 rand, depending on the system. So it's just the initial yeah. cost. It's the initial cost that's expensive because of the hardware. The bulk filter we're running a special on at the moment for 10,000 rand, for the bulk filter and then your element on the bulk filter is 2000 rand and uh, this pumps 120 liters a minute and uh, you, you should do 100,000 liters of uh, fuel depending how dirty it is you know how long is a piece of string yeah you, you know it's very difficult to say De how long definitely. it will last but i mean then you take that because um, we we haven't got any control about the, um, the 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 diesel that we get in into our tanks no. um, i mean you're totally reliant on the the guy delivering 100 percent and uh we've also just bought a new microscope so we do fuel sampling so you guys can send a sample of fuel to us and we'll tell you the contamination of what's in your fuel um with dirt contamination down to 0.2 of a micro so we can do that with you i don't know i have to send that to someone you else can do that so directly with us yes awesome dean thank you very much thank you very much for your time uh, okay so this dean um is so fun Ultra fine depth filtration. Als hij naar te komen raar. Ik denk raar. Als gaan het nopje opzet, stierf mijn boodschap en dan zullen ze een contact krijgen met hulle. Maar ik denk dat ze moet. Ik weet. My truck is injectors het gegaan so rik terug en toe is het gauw 60.000 rand joke gewees wat nie vir my baie snaaks was nie en buiten dit engines die type van dinge ek denk rarig die olie skoon maak stoor die kan mooi werk so ja, dis hier van Nampo af kijk uit vir die volgende video's, tot volgende keer, groete